All right, what is up, my friends? Welcome to 10 New Brews. I'm going to make him an offer, Ken. Sweet Snooker Panda is here, along with its gangster themes, and uh, we're playing a Demir deck. That's not one of the families. But uh, 10 New Brews, of course, is a show where I built 10 new decks for the brand new format. We're on the early access streams. Once again, thank God, we're back on early access. We're playing all sorts of fun decks. It's been a phenomenal, phenomenal run of decks so far. We're now in decks number 6 of 10. We're on the back 9 here. And we are playing a Demir Casualty deck. Now, Casualty is the new mechanic. It's the Maestros, or Grixis mechanic, that says you can sacrifice a creature to copy a spell, and the number is the power of the creature or greater. So Casualty 1 here means I can sacrifice any creature of power 1 or greater, and I can copy the spell. Mate disappears a counter spell. It's Quench, but you can copy it, which is pretty great. A little chat is uh, sort of like Deadly Dispute, but better, uh, because you have to look at the cards and get more card selection, which is pretty sweet. And uh, we also have Riz Rizzly's Sigil here, which can deal effectively 4 damage and gain 4 life to one creature by sacrificing a creature. Now, what makes these cards really good is that Witch here would already be good with them by making tokens. But Magecraft specifically says whenever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery spell. So when you use the sacrifice ability to copy the spell, you get an X token back also, which is pretty good. So Witch is great here, and we have sort of like a, a blue... Black, sort of like a mid rangey kind of tempo y deck. We have a lot of counter spells again with the make disappear. We have a few copies of Overcharge the Amalgam, which can sack a creature to counter a spell. We have a whole bunch of creatures here uh, for fodder in Eye Twitch and Shambling Guest, as well as Jadar, a ghoul caller here. I think there's enough things where we want to sacrifice creatures that having a, ne a never ending supply is pretty good for us. A couple kill spells, a couple duresses, you know, the usual stuff you see in the mirror deck. And uh, of course, a wish board for our. I think as well. There's a lot of ways you can build this deck. Am I sure this is the correct one? I am not. I am not. That's the whole point of these brews. Send your brews, try out new cards, see what's happening here. So I'm pumped to play Amalgam too. This card's super cool. Super cool. So let's jump right into the games brought to you by Cool Stuff Inc. is proud to sponsor Jim Davis. We offer great deals on card games, tabletop RPGs, board games, and more. Get a free token featuring Jim Davis and take 5% off your next order if you use the code JIM5 at checkout. CoolStuffInc.com. Cool stuff in stock. A lot of chat is saying, why not splash for Ob? Um, I think that makes the mana a lot worse. Uh, like a lot worse. Now you're playing tap lands. The counter spells don't play nearly as well with tap lands. Um... Maybe maybe you're all right. I also think that Ob wants to play with the with the uh, the three the two drops that have three power. Uh, we're playing an Ob deck later. We'll see that later. But um, for now, this is what we got. And kind of an awkward hand. We're gonna keep it. We can't play the chat on two. But all right, a little chat. Play gas. Let's have a little chat. Let's have a little chat. No problem. No problem. White, white. All right. So we just played our angel deck. It was very, very good. Went five and zero pretty easily. Uh, unfortunately, we have no kill spells right now, so we could be in a bit of trouble. So we're gonna attack, obviously, and then we're going to uh, just do our thing, I guess. Play some shambling guests, and we need to find a kill spell ASAP because this card is stupid. Hey, chat. Yeah. Uh, all right. I mean, let's try. You're killing me, Smalls. Just killing me here. I think we're probably already dead. <laughs> probably already dead. We are playing kill spells and interaction, but oh my god. Just kidding. Get off my plane. Get the hell out of here. There we go. Still probably in trouble, but if we can find a kill spell, maybe. Maybe. Drop blue. Alright, so we're gonna attack. A little chat. Gonna copy it. Sack of Ghast. We're gonna make a treasure. And we're gonna look and see. First one's Eye Twitch or Land. Alright, so Eye Twitch. The next one is. A little Chat or Grasp. Okay. That's a start. That's a start. Grasp here is pretty good. We gotta kill the the Valkyrie, I think. And we can't afford to kill the uh the Gieta. Uh so we're gonna say go. We're gonna say go. Um, unfortunately, we're a little behind the eight ball, but it's not the end of the world. Just gonna take it here. 
Because if they don't play a creature, I'll auto chat. All right, perfect. So we're going to chat now. Just a little chat. Just a little chat. Just a little chat. Kill it with two death triggers. Um, I didn't have two death triggers, right? I could have, yeah, I, I guess, but... Hey, treasure. Maybe I could try, try to find a way to kill it with the second two gas. That's fair. That's fair. Duress or pathway? Take duress. And then our next one is... Our next one is... Amalgam or Eye Twitch. Okay. That's not bad. Uh, it's got flying, too. Let's untap. We're going to duress, and we're going to maybe ambush uh, the Fawn of Hope with the Amalgam. Let's duress. Let's see what's up. Vanishing verse, my shambling guest. That's actually a huge annoyance, uh, but sure. Not huge, but. They had a Maria's Call and a Seat of the Empire. Unfortunately, Seat of the Empire can kill my amalgam, but play this, play I, which they go. They're out of gas. Um, they're out of gas, but of course, we need to like actually make some progress here against their board. If I go for a Malgan to block the, the thing, they just they just use the Seed of the Empire. Up oh, now they can't though. All right, so wait, what? Oopsie. Uh, oopsie, I guess. All right. Cast the Malgan. Uh, no exploit. Decline. Block. I'm gonna jump here. Um, gonna go get probably mascot, I guess. We've got the uh, oh, teachings too, I guess. Let's get teachings. So now I can go land grasp teachings. Land grasp teachings. Draw two. A witch, but a little short. Um. Yeah. Yeah. They can play the Seed of the Empire and activate the uh, the Cave of the Frost Dragon. We have a Hive, though, too, so we're going to race. They're going to Mauling and say, go. Sure. We draw a Grasp. The Admirer is pretty interesting because we can, like, buy it back. Buy back the Amalgam, I mean. I'll play Hive here. We could fire up the play this as a land and fire this up, but I think I want to just play the Hive and say, go. I want to leave a treasure and have the grasp up. So I have I have the the mire up too. Also, so let's see what's up. Let's see what's up. Cave of the frost dragon. I'm down to kill this. Get my token going. Let me untap, and now we can. Uh, oh, we drew, we drew disappear too. Yeah, now we're now we're off for the races. Now it's like almost locked up at this point. Because now I have the ability to buy back the Amalgam and cast it, or play Disappear twice. So, Righteous Valkyrie. We're going to... I think Meyer back the Amalgam and just cast it. Meyer. Mill. Amalgam. Cast it. Sack this. Legend Reset, thanks so much. Get out of here. Get off my plane. And now they have card castle they can't play. We have make disappear. A little awkward, obviously, because we don't have another like fodder creature, but this is fine. We're doing the thing, folks. Lethal. Lethal. Oh. Blouses. One out. I like it so far. I like it. Round two, no blue. But we have gas and dispute keep. Easy keep. Easy keep. Definitely, you know, the choice between uh, dispute and chat is a little interesting. Not sure exactly which one's better, but. Looking at more cards is really, really good. We don't really use the treasure for much, so.
Odat Pro says they give access to creators as opposed to everyone. Uh, yeah, it's marketing. That's, that's the point, right? It's like two days early. You know, it's, 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 it's like a day early. Uh, Harvester. I think it's a great way to drive hype. Very exciting. Very exciting. All right, so we're going to uh, we're going to dispute here. Let's get our blue up and make a treasure. So we need like a little bit to go right here, but make treasure. Draw two, make treasure. All right. So at present we have no uh, fodder creatures, but we have consider. We've got we have counter spells. This is all right. Yeah, obviously you can just cast this as a sleight of hand if you need to. Uh, it's not ideal for sure, but. Yes, they've changed the release schedule, and I think it's much better this way. Uh, for a long time, for the last few sets, it's been released on Arena, like, the day before the pre-release. I think that's really, really bad. Uh, I think there should be some lull time between pre-release and online. Helps out paper stores. Really good for that. And this is this is just, like, you know, a one-day early kind of thing for content creators to get, to get a... Drive some hype for the set. Uh, I'm sorry, what was that? Get off my plate. And, um, I think it's great. I think it's great. No point in considering here because we just lose the mana anyway. We could play a little chap. I'm just gonna wait. I'm not in a huge rush, so. All right, we need some preachers, folks. We need some preachers. Oh, prediction time. All right, I didn't make a prediction. Oops. Sorry. Prediction time, bless your bets. We're gonna consider here. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Please, please, please. We got our creature. We're good to go. Alright, so now we have fodder online. Epicure is fine. We can chat the eye twitch and get pest summoning, which is awesome. Uh, just kidding. Get off my plane. Just gonna cast it. Not gonna, uh... Not gonna kick it, obviously. They get in for three, which is fine. No blocks. Draw a disruption. I'm gonna play this as a land. Uh, I'm just gonna play this as a land. It's unlikely to hit, and I want more, I want more mana anyway, so. Gonna attack. So they go with chat and disappear up. In for four. It's fine. This thing can gain four life, so that's kinda cool. Another anvil. Hmm. I think we got to counter this one too, unfortunately. So we don't, get, we don't have to play chat here, but it just has to. It, just ha it has to play like this, I think. So we're gonna hit it. We're gonna sack it. So counter it twice. Second anvil's gone. We're going to get ourselves Pest Summoning, I think, almost assuredly, right? Yeah, like for sure. We have Sigil and Chat, so... Only call A third Anvil? Come on. All right. That's gross, by the way, in case you were wondering. That's pretty gross. All right, Sack of Blood, Drain for one, make a token. That's probably going to lose the game, honestly. Uh... That's probably just a little too much for us. Place summoning. We're gonna... We're gonna chat, try and find a land, and cast Sigil also, I think. So we're gonna chat. Pay it. Play it. This is gonna find us what? To find us duress island Ugh. duress can't be good take the island i guess and shambling gas pathway now we probably need the black land here because we're gonna cast sigil this turn also so kind of stinks but play some black play sigil we're gonna casualty it we're gonna target the uh target this so we stack this the first time it deals damage it deals one then it deals three so we gain a total of, uh, of four life. Up to 14. Our hand is okay. It's not great. We're missing a uh, an engineer of some kind. Jeez. 
Jeez. And they are, uh, they're kind of popping on all cylinders here, I'm not going to lie. They hit another synthesizer too? Come on. Take it easy. Take it easy. Alright, and play Fable. Are they not going to play the synthesizer? That's insane. That's just too greedy. I'm sorry. That's way too greedy. Play Consider. Amalgam? That's not bad. I'll keep that. Um... Play Island, play I Twitch and say go. Now we have the uh, now we have the ability to amalgam. So hopefully they pre-combat a spell. We get to counter it and have blockers up. Just gonna land, sure. Hmm. <sighs> Alright, so we're gonna cast the amalgam as a flyer. Sucks, whatever. Oh, Amalgam can counter a Saga, that's true. All right, decline, block. Oh, come on. All right, Pawn had it all this game. Pawn had it all. Just too much. Just too much stuff. They dispute to, oh man, they are, they are all cylinders here. It's five lands, all spells. I'm pretty sure we're dead. Pretty sure we're dead, folks. Dispute the only block. Yeah, that's, that's really good. That's really, really good. Down to eight. Play land. It's a high of two. Gross. Yeah. All right. They got us. Good hands. Good hands. Third anvil there was pretty rough. Pretty rough. Oops, all gas. All right. Uh, yeah. Sweet. Hands gas. This hand is the opposite of last hand. It's all creatures and no spells, but we'll take it. A guild hound. Sure. Shambling guest. Probably will just dispute and kill this, honestly. Smoldering egg? Uh, alright. Sure. Poppet stitcher? Right. Yeah, I mean, like... Should dispute and kill the goal down. Gold Hound Smoldering Egg. That is a uh, interesting combination of cards. Next turn we have Witch plus Consider. Oh my god. We got Witches for days. Witches for days. Witches and Stitches. Another gold hound. Alright. And I'm like, I don't know what's going on, folks. I'm lost. I'm lost. I don't know what's up. Alright. Uh, just gonna play witch and play consider, I guess. I might actually just hold the consider. Play more other, other witch and play. So there you go. It's a coven of witches here. They have yet to put a counter on their smoldering egg. Probably playing like the the four mana, you know, discard a card, make two treasures, draw a bunch of cards kind of card. It's like the new one and the old one. It's a good way to kind of like plow three up there. Sure, same idea, whatever. Seeds of Spoils. Sacrificing a treasure. They are a little mana screwed here, obviously. And a windfall. Yeah, that was right. It was windfall too. So... A lot of windfall effects. Obviously our counter spells are going to be great here, so... They love Goldhound. They're just a big Goldhound fan. They just really like the card. All right, so untap. And draw an overcharged Amalgam. All right. On second thought, we're going to leave Amalgam up, I think. We could play Witch here and then play Consider, but we can just Consider and Amalgam all at once. So just going to say go. If I attack, they double block, so no attacks. Alright, land. Counter spells are obviously also very good against these kind of cards, too. They, they, they just discard a card to cast them, so. 
There is a certainly better windfall. Might have both. Grinning Ingus. What a dingus. There's a combo deck also with this card. I'm not kind of nervous. So we're going to consider. And we're going to ban a land. Cast the Amalgam. Draw a little chat. Sweet. Stack the pest. It's funny, we actually have like not really many spells right now, uh, but. Counter that. We'd like to draw any cheap spell here to get our, our ball rolling. Sure. I mean, it's not bad. You know, we get to like sacrifice the, uh, the token that it makes, but. All right. Let's attack. Play to Dar, so they go. I can see three to Dar being too many. Definitely the kind of deck where you really gotta like feel out the mix of like, you know, creatures versus non creatures and so on and so forth, but I think we're in pretty good shape now though. Cast casualty. Again, copy trigger twice for Magecraft, so we get two to two pests. Draw a few cards. Take this land. Take this Grizzly Sigil. Sure. And now we're just going off. I mean, play Marsh, play Witch. Sigil this. We're gonna copy it, target the egg, sacrifice a pest, get two more pests, get two more pests, and works off of the races, I think. Target it again. Yeah, the witch obviously plays really, really well with the uh, casualty cards. Casualty could, could kill two X ones, I, I wanna kill the egg. So, uh, and now we attack with the amalgam. Um. Just in the air, actually. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want the witness to die, so. And Stitcher is, it flips the beginning of your upkeep. Sure. Yeah, the combo is like uh, the Ingus, uh, Brigiri, whatever it is, the legend that makes it red whenever you cast a spell. And then, uh, and one of these cards. Because you have infinite creatures at that point. So, and infinite spells. So you can trigger this infinite times, trigger this infinite times. Make Disappear locks this game up uh, completely. Uh, there are no more outs for our opponent anymore. The game is over. Uh, play this. Whatever. They're just dead. Attack with uh, this and this. <clears throat> this point, I just don't care. It's not everything. I mean, it's actually just everything, honestly. Do your thing. Do your thing. They want to eat two pests and take a bunch of damage, whatever. With Pop and Stitcher and the Make the Spear, we just can't lose. We just can't lose right now, so. This card is only okay. Um, I think that Sedgemore Witch is a thousand times better. Both synergizing with uh, Casualty better. And just making much better blockers, too. Like, this card can't make blockers, so it kind of sucks. Uh, it's okay against control decks, but... Thoughts of a new Bant Aether Gust card? I think card's bad. Like, actively bad. It's too hard to cast. Doesn't actually get rid of anything for, for completely, so... Say go, make a zombie. You're up. There are two. I can play a Seize the Spoils or a Mountain. We have a Counterspell for four. Card's great. This card's good. Cathartic Pyre, discard two, draw two. You got it. Discarding a devilish valet. This card is cool. This card is cool. Counter it. It's funny if we actually actively want to sacrifice here because we gain we, we gain tokens by sacrificing. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Citra is gonna get control decks because like the downside of the card is the tokens can't block, which is what makes this card so good. 
So it's terrible defensively, but pretty good offensively. Let's go. Professor Onyx. Uh, way too clunky. This is a this is a, a kind of low to the ground kind of deck. Uh, Professor Onyx is way too clunky. Alright, we're gonna keep. The mana's kind of awkward again, unfortunately, but. All 10 decks are today. Yep, it's deck number 6 of 10. We're going until we're done. We're going until we're done. And they'll, they'll, be up, they'll be up on YouTube tomorrow. Or start going up tomorrow. Onyx is a cool card, but 6 mana for a Planeswalker is way too much. Alright, so once again, our, our mana is super awkward, but whatever. Like. Uh oh. Vanishing versus my eye twitch. Shit. Uh, okay. Alright. We're just gonna, just gonna cast the old uh, sleight of hand here. Get a land. Yeah, that's, that's the land we need. So I guess we're just doing this. There you go. Not ideal, but gotta make land drops. They're gonna vanishing versus my poor uh, my poor doofer. Valky God of Lies. I mean, this is insane for us. They have to take the ghast. Yeah, they did, not, they did not take the guest. Um, now we just gas sack it and kill it. So, as a Esper Trione. Interesting. All Esper land so far. So we play gas, we chat it. Do we chat it or we dispute it? That's how we dispute, actually. No, it's chat, because we can dispute the uh, the treasure. So, play land, play gas, chat it. Let's have a little chat. Just a little chat. Sack this. And minus one, minus one. All right, okay. We'll get a treasure up. Oh, you're right, you're right, you're right. I'm lying. I'm just making shit up, all right? Hi, my name is Jim. Welcome to the, welcome to, uh, welcome to the show. Welcome to, well, well, hi. Hello. How are you? Um, can't do everything all at once. It's fair. That's fair. And, uh, we get an amalgam or a counterspell. I like Counterspell here. And we get a Duress. Duress, yeah. Hand is. Oh my god. That is a that that is a hand of magic cards you can put into your deck, I guess. Alright. Um we'll take the Wandering Emperor. It's the only card they're even remotely close to casting. Uh Plow. Plow, Onyx, and Burn down the house. Just didn't see it coming. I just didn't see it coming. All right, we're gonna uh, we'll play pop it here and just draw out the uh the grasp, and play this as a land I think too. So play this. Let's tap. Just say go. Make him use their grasp. I don't really see a combo here. Maybe there is. I don't know. <laughs> That's the combo. You sack your plot of deadly dispute. Simple as that. Simple as that. Okay, sure. All right. Well, now we have witch and counterspell up, so That's good, I guess. That's good, I guess. Bring it. Vanishing verse. Oh, gross. We can't counter that one. Alright, sure. Alright, we need to draw another uh, another threat here. Alright. I guess. They have a lot of cards in hand now. We have a lot of freaking uh, thingies. Alright, sure. Whatever. Fire us up and attack. We've got two counter spells up, or one counter spell up. Attack and exile. I don't know, Valky, I guess. So there you go. You cannot play a casualty card, like make the token and then do it, uh, because the token needs to be in play. It's part of casting the spell. Triple quench here, but when they're playing Professor Onyx and finally I have a few lands, it's actually pretty good. So, fire us up, attack again. Exile, uh, I don't know, Planeswalker. All right, I mean, we got a clock, you know. It's kind of fun playing this sort of like Delvery, you know, Play a threat, counterspell, play a threat, counterspell. Who's ready? Say it with me, chat. Get off my play. Say it with me. Exile plows are increased fang. That's possible. That's possible. 
consider. Swamp. Jesus. All right. Uh, I guess. Exile Plow, just in case they have Grease Fang. Fair. Fair. I'm gonna hold this land, I guess. I don't know if I have reason to actually hold it. A little floody here. A little floody. A naked Obnixilus. No! Make it devil. Okay. We need a threat. Uh, a second Obnixilus? Casualty again? What? Uh, okay. Obnixilus on one resolves. The devil resolves. I can mana leak this, but like, I don't know if I care, honestly. They're gonna have two ops. Yeah, whatever. After 1, years, so they can like make a devil and gain the life, I guess. But we just attack it with our hive of the tyrant. Jesus. All right, we need to stop drawing lands. That'd be super sweet. All right, there's seven. Yeah, I'm gonna kill this. Okay, like drawing a spell would be super tight. It'd be super tight. Isn't over. <laughs> Pleasure doing a lot of lands. They have two cards left. Our Manly's getting worse, obviously. They have their own hive. Looks like they're trying to lead back high. Nope. Massacre on zero. They're trying to lead back Hive and Devil to block. <laughs> I mean, I, I guess. Sure. All right. Works, I suppose. Yep. Fire up the hive. Attack the ob. Exile that. They have one guard left. So it's hive, hive versus hive, and may disappear versus their two cards. It's not a good, not a good thing for us. Because obviously, without any help, this card's not great, and we're pretty far past the point of this, this like resolving. I think. Couch boy, you're so right. That's got to be on there for sure. All right. All four mate disappears. Please draw a threat for the love of God. Please, thank you, please. I guess like the upside here is that if they play a spell, like we can't counter with one, we can counter with both now. But what's up, Jolly? Uh, no Delver's a mistake. Delver's terrible, but it is a similar style strategy to that. All right, trade and blows. This is fine. Sad tomorrow, which is very, very good in this deck. Very good with the casualty cards. Because you get a copy and triggers it twice. Alright, so we're at 12 to 6. It's up to 8. <laughs> Can't draw non land guard, but sure, I guess. We're almost there. We're almost there. Um, It's funny, they play a land first, you can bounce the thing. Shake down heavy. This card's cool. This card's pretty cool. Uh, that's fine. It's a 6-4 Menace. Whenever it attacks, I can have him draw a card, untap it. Right, we're going to bounce this. And go for lethal with counter spell backup. That is the plan. That is the plan. It does crew the plow. That is true. You are not wrong. Uh, four. That's actually pretty good for us. So now we get to mana leak for 4, not 2. Going for lethal in the most embarrassing game of all time. Okay, uh, I guess, sure. I'll take it, book it. Y'all great, 
First time hit that follow button, watch on YouTube, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all the buttons. Anything you miss in the stream, it's a long stream, it'll be on YouTube. So make sure you watch it, because you're all great, and I would hate for you to miss it. Alright? You're all great. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep. Make disappear. Uh, sure. So you have, like, just gassed into Dadar into Make Disappear or Disruption. It's like, fine. We got a Naya Triome here. Uh, sure. This is great for us. <laughs> uh, yeah. Ship it. All right. Let's unzap into the Witch. A turn two Witch. Do I want to do that? I don't know if I want to do that or not, actually. And risk it, uh, risk it being killed. Could just play Jadar. Um, then set up for, like, Witch into Consider. I want to have a Counterspell up, though. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to cast the Witch. Just do it. Just do it. They're playing Naya. They're probably playing out of Permanence. So, like, they probably don't have that many kill spells. Black Market Tycoon. So worst case, it would have been Tycoon plus Surge, but they didn't have it. So now we're off for the races. Now we're off for the races here. Play land. Attack for three. Play Twitch. Say go. Goliath Online. Take two. No. Just kidding. Lied. I lied. Naya. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, oh, man. Get off. Play. Let's go. Wow. <laughs> this thing is sweet. This thing is... What the hell was that? I just heard myself. Nicole was have a stream on in the kitchen. So I just heard myself go, wow, like on a two second delay. That's hilarious. Um, yeah, I mean, sweet. That's a 4-1. I'll take it. Deck's awesome. 4-1, and uh, I gotta say, one of the important things in a new format is not only to look at the new cards, but it's also to look at the cards that got a lot better. And Sedgebar Witch is definitely a card that got a lot better. It was already like almost good enough. Now it might be the point where it's far enough, where it's good enough. It's just so good casualty, and Make Disappear is so good, and a little chat is so good. So... Deck was super sweet. Definitely good to spin play tempo decks. That's deck number six, folks. Deck number seven is coming up on stream, but YouTube folks love you. Like, comment, subscribe. Ho boy, and new Bruce.